Uh, wait. I just enabled the audio. There you go. Now you're good. Now you're good. Right. Let me go to your mixer too. No, my mixer's down right now. Oh, you're not gonna do mixer? I can't do. I can't. It's not working. Yeah, yeah. Multi stream's not working. That's the problem. Oh my god, it's already 5 p.m. I thought it was like 9 a.m. Yeah, it's not the morning anymore. It's almost fucking dinner time, dude. That's why I wanted to get going. What's up, everybody? Let's turn it on. I'm Albie13. This is Heyday. Our special guest joining us. For, for the third time. Podcast. For the third time. Third time... We're, gr we're glad to have you back. Um, glad to be back. We are going to be talking about computer mouses. That's what okay. this podcast is about. We've I like pretty em. much almost everything about anything except for mouses. What what was that? Anything except for mouses? We've, we, we've covered pretty much everything oh, that you can have on your everything. desk except for mouses. Yeah, not really though. I mean, we haven't really covered controllers and you know mouse controllers. Uh, or i should say uh yeah well mouse pads which is it's under mouses but it's not really right because we can talk about mouses all day we're probably not going to talk about mouse pads today no yeah definitely not cameras and, and microphones and you know paracords and yeah dude there's so much all, everything there's so much audio yeah yeah, exactly. The speakers that sit on your desk, all kinds of stuff. We're not talking about. We're just talking about mouses, and that's plenty to talk about. So let's get let's get let's get into it, man. Because I have some topics of discussion. Yeah, I want to talk about like the main thing that we're gonna probably spend a, a bulk of time on: lightweight mouses. I can get in on that. I um. I've been seeing that trend. Yeah. And I see a lot of uh, young um, gamers, PC gamers, streamers. Uh, streamers, obviously, because sometimes, you know, you don't know what people are using, right? But when you look at the streamers, you can see their mouse. Yes. Um, so, and then a lot of people will tell, tell people what they have or list it somewhere. But... We've been seeing the trend of lightweight mouses. So I want to like just talk about that because I don't think that everyone knows about this stuff. Um, and I don't think that people know how art is coming into play on <laughs> these things. Because we, we talked about mechanical keyboards before, right? And, and we how talked you about express how express yourself with those. There's the express yourself, creativity, your personality. There's so much. There's an art aspect to it. Some people even... Um, will do art on a keyboard or on a mouse you know that's definitely out more special yeah what do you, what do you think uh, so I want to hear what you what you think about like what's up with the trend of lightweight mouses and is it just the technology's gotten better or do you think it serves the purpose uh, I I like it I, I don't know why but it's kind of like I wanted to find a mouse for months when I had some other brand, I'm not, I don't really remember. And I wasn't able to get them because they were completely sold out. So I was like, how can I compromise for this? And then Glorious came out with their model, model O, right? And um, I waited a little bit and I hopped on that and it was good, but there was a few things I was like, I still want to try this final mouse out. I, I wanted to get to these and I wanted to get it no matter what I had to do. And I and I and I got it, and I just haven't changed it since because it's just like, it's just it just feels so good, you know. There's no, there's not really a comparison for it. It's just, it's just, it's just it's air, you know. They made a new reality. I think you're buying into their marketing too much, but that's okay. <laughs> so Final Mouse, that's the brand. Yes. Why are you attracted to Final Mouse? Why did you get married to Final Mouse? I don't know, man. They're they're just 
the way that they have the shape always works it's not complicated there's no like you know some a lot of mouses most mouses have rgb this doesn't have rgb there's no you know it's kind of like limited edition there's no you know you, you can have paracord they come out they've been getting better and better and that's just that, that's what you want you want a lightweight mouse that's not going to give you any problems and a lot of people do say that it's overpriced junk to some extent i can agree with but that's um but for me it's been they, they've been perfect so um like i just we have virtue of having uh your video and i can't help but notice i happen to know that you have a uh, is that the sunset version of yeah, Final Mouse? Yeah, sunset and then the phantom on and the, the right. the phantom in the back. So can you show us uh, your, especially the sunset one? Because I think it is very attractive and not something yeah. that you don't typically see in the computer uh, peripheral yeah. uh, area. The, the, the top has uh, a bunch of holes in it. So it's lightweight and cut out. And the bottom even has holes in it. Shit. The bottom yeah. even has holes in it. If I'm not mistaken, they use a specific uh, kind of uh, low low traction pads, like to make it right. so that stick. It slides on the well side, on the surface. On the on the newer models, they have uh, holes cut on the side, but I don't I don't have the newer models. Okay. And well, what um, do you think about that? You, you want it lighter? You want more holes? Yeah, or, I want I want lighter. I want as light as I can get. Oh, okay. So that's I want I want to try out the Air 58. Okay. I haven't been able to try that yet. Okay. Um, I could see like the ergonomics of it, how it fits your hand, and you know I think uh, one of the things that people talk about, uh, one of the things that they talk about is like if I have a big hand, I kind of need a big mouse, and if I have a small hand, I need a small mouse, and so there is a size thing, um, and there does seem to be three categories: small, regular, average, medium, and then like and then large or extra large, so. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's an average size. I'd say it's definitely a, an average to large, especially with the newer ones. Except the, the, the newest one that they just came out with, the Cape Town, that, that is the smallest mouse I've ever seen. Oh, okay. What well, can it's I... very uh, small. I gotta look into that. Cause I'm not yeah, they're, they are very, very small. They're 47 grams, I think, or something like that. Yeah, but we're, we're actually talking about the mouse is physically smaller, is that accurate? Yeah, it's physically smaller. Can you tell me what the name is again? Uh, Cape Town 2. Cape Town 2. Okay. And so we want to be clear that Final Mouse is not our sponsor. We don't. They don't pay us. Yet. <laughs> so we have nothing to gain uh, yet. But Final Mouse, if you're listening. Sponsor you know, me and me only. I need money. You have a like, very, I'll, I'll... very big fan with Payday. I yeah. will. I I I would love to see him be sponsored over me. But as as much as I love to be sponsored, he's kind of been the final mouse guy. So anyway, just, I'm, just I just a little this bit. Up. I pulled this up just to look at this whole thing, and like you know, it's funny because I'm looking at the marketing of this thing, and I'll be pulling this up visually. But it looks like an animal scurrying in the rocks and bushes and the have little... you have have you seen the uh, the marketing for it? No. Is it a video? Oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just, okay. I'll send it to you. Okay. You can pull it up. So I see a few different things going on here, which is kind of interesting. And when I look at this feature list, it says it's ultra light too. It's forty-seven yeah. grams, and it's a yep. super gaming mouse. That's it. That's all it says on the on the. So it's like okay, I I'm learning nothing from that. So you have to be really into it. To know what the hell, is... right? Um, but the looks are something. Oh yeah, no yeah, okay. it's one of my least favorite looking mouses, but I'm sure it's even better. Okay, I'm I not. A, pull... I'm not a fan of the orange. I'm gonna pull this up, man. It's time. So if you look at your screen, you can see the stream, right? Yeah. So I pulled up the Final Mouse Ultra light to cape town and what immediately stands out to me is uh outside of the marketing is it has a na nature it uses nature's colors right you're seeing like uh the tans and the the whites but we're seeing the browns and oranges uh, here right? it is yes you are and you know i was like i said you know we we both are a fan of random frank p 
and a lot of people disagreed with the way that this mouse looks. So what he did is he customized it and he ordered like a silicone band and changed the, the scroll wheel ring and put some infinity skins on it and uh, and lizard skins as well. Okay. And I just want to kind of go through here since we're talking about this mouse. There, I just sent you now, that. Do you see um, this right here? How there's wh what is going on here? Like I don't with know anything the, about this mouse. With, is that like armor? The, is that like no, adjustable? No, basically you can add thin layers of foam from different thickness amounts. Okay. That make it bigger and more comfortable to you, but it adds weight. But they're still really light. Okay. So that's what that deal is. Yeah, because I can see pictures with it without the right. foam. Right. Yeah, you, you can add them, and you have to take them off by like heat, heat, heat. Uh, putting heat on it and shit like that. Really? And that, what yeah. the hell? That's very alien. Yeah. Here, check the uh, email. You can pull that up on stream. That's one of the oh. most. Well, I don't. I don't want to do that for uh, because of you know it's mixing. You know, I have. I just have live very limited things that I'm going to be showing today. Okay. On, this, on the stream. Oh well, I could pull up the email on my second device. But anyway, yeah. he sent me. A, 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 okay. Oh, That's for the... the video. For the video. Yeah, oh, I can yeah, pull yeah, up the yeah, video. Yeah. Yeah. yeah hold that... on. Man, they're they're making it seem like you're gonna get laid, dude. Should we watch it? Yes. They're not paying course. us enough, but we'll put it on. Yeah, no, yeah, because you know if 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 we if they want us to get paid, we're gonna have to promote them a little bit. Okay. You know? <laughs> okay. All right. Stand by. Let me pull it up. Hang on. This is something that we're doing right now live. You know, I think Final Mouse moved from mouses to making shoes now. Are you joking? No. That's 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 crazy, man. Why why would they get into shoes? When they have this they have this thing going on, you know? This that's not stopping. It's not going to stop anytime soon. They want to keep going with it. They should keep going with it. Okay, I have the video. I'm going to pause my music here. And I'm going to pull up the video. Should be there. There it is. The Final Mouse Ultralight 2 Cape Town release video. You ready, man? Yeah, there it is, man. Oh, no. You're not just, ready? It's so, it's so, like, it's so over the top, you know? Let's do it. Okay, nature. Indigenous. Okay. <laughs> Out there. Something that is outside of the norm. It's just so like, like, am I going to get laid if I use this? You know what I mean? <laughs> well, wow. Okay. Oh yeah. There's the infinity skins. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's pretty good now. They've done well. Marketing. I just don't like the color of it, man. Yeah, they're the, they're the skins. Um, I, that was a lot going on there. Mm-hmm. That was, that yeah. was cool. I, I'll definitely give it to him. That was, that was actually a really nice presentation. Yeah, they, they made it they seem put professional pretty intense in there. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't like, you know, something for memes. It wasn't like, like a joke. It wasn't like over budget or under budget. It was, it was pretty well done. 
Uh, my viewer is saying that uh, we're not live right now on Twitch. Could you do me a favor and pop no, over? No, I'm there? I'm I'm on your I'm on you right now. This is I'm watching. And it's it. playing. Yeah. Yeah. He's trolling. So, can you re re can you refresh your page? Yeah, yeah. No, you're you're live. Oh yeah. Okay. So oh no, he, you, no he's, he my said, YouTube he said YouTube is down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm just telling him. So, um, anyway, going back to what we were talking about. Just to finish our discussion on there. The, uh, the Cape Town. Yeah, I learned a lot about it in a short amount of time. It's pretty interesting. Right. Um, that, that will lead me over to, uh, Final Mouse. Let me, this is Final Mouse's website right now. Yeah, if you notice, everything is sold out in the past drops. If you go past drops, uh, right below the final mouse. Okay. Everything is completely sold out. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Which is like boutique stuff, man. When I go on uh, a clothing website, there all their stuff is sold out. You know. And the thing is that these are never coming back. Well, yeah. Well, that's their thing, right? It's like this is functioning for them as like creating that artificial demand. I've already talked about this before. It's like uh, it's like Laserbeam merch. It's not going to come back. You just got to get on it while it's there. What this is is it's limited release. Right. This is not like Amazon where they make thousands and thousands and they sell them all year round. No. This is like they come out. They really – I don't know how, how – do you know how many uh, they do typically? No, but they, they normally sell out within minutes. Sell I do have the – I have the Phantom. I have the – Pro Black, I have the Sunset, and I have the Pro, but I do want to get the other ones as well. So you have multiple. I have four of this. You have. You, you I have, have two have, white yeah. ones actually. Yeah. So um, I guess I was getting into okay. You t you talked about the design and how it, how you like to you know how why you like it basically, but can you yeah. talk about like because I I had to understand this right because um, I, this stuff didn't exist before. Yeah, and uh, my understanding is that players that have a lightweight mouse will typically do large motions with their arms when they're playing shooting games. Yeah, because it's not as heavy. They can they can be more free when they do lower sensitivity. Okay, so they do these sweeping motions, and they essentially have a larger area on their desk, and they. Mm -hmm do large motions and their sensitivity is set lower so that yeah. they can move their hand faster across yes. more more distance right and that's why that's why my mouse pad is so big right so that is the idea um do you think that like it's overdone do you think it's kind of like i think they overhype it but i wish i wish they would come out with it more they're so they're so good. They're overhyping you know? what? I think they're overhyping Final Mouse, but and if you go to if you see where it says next drop, yeah, I want to know what that is. I don't know if they're making a new mouse or yeah, if that's they're... what I was going to talk about. Yeah. So the way they this company does it is they create some mis mystery, right? Right. Like with the with the Air Fifty Eight, they made like a walking into nature. I I know we've never talked about this before in our life, but we know. They make some sort of thing about walking into nature and, and creating like a new reality. You know what I mean? Right. And um, I want to wonder, I want to I know what that new reality is. Yes. Uh, I think we all have that human need to want to know what is the next thing coming out. Cause, you know, we, we think that they have something new that's coming out that's already been designed. And but so they're, we're. But they're, they're going to create air. That's that's it. I'm not gonna get into their marketing. I'm not gonna. Mm -hmm. I, I know. I know they they have heavy marketing. We, we enjoy their marketing, but I'm not gonna be their cheerleader. We're not gonna self promote them. Yeah, if they we I'll, I'll promote them if they pay us. And if they pay me, yeah. So, anyway, um, just looking at this marketing, they they've already started with their marketing. What what are we looking at? We're looking at the gamer who is the Greek-Roman 
perfection or the perfect classic body, you know, something like Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? He's got the muscles and so he's holding what like the mouse and it looks like one of the mouses is floating. Yes. And so like carrying, floating he's, like lightweight, he's carrying, right? And then he's carrying the Air 58 in he's cherry blossom the Air red. 58. Yeah. So what do you think about the significance of why is he carrying the Air 58 by the cord and it's hanging low? What do you think the relationship maybe, is with maybe, that? Maybe maybe that mouse that's floating is the new mouse. Yes. So do you think it's a, it's a may, successor? May, 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 maybe it's wireless. You never know. Do you that's what I was Okay, now we're talking. Is it wireless? It might be. They may but be. What, what, I, what I'm confused wireless. by is why does it look like multiple women are begging to be with him because he has a mouse in his hand? Well, it's because it's going to give you sex, man. You're going to have. You're you're gonna gonna get, get laid, laid if you, you buy this mouse. mouse. Yeah. <laughs> you have to and desperate I model see, I see, women. I see about four guys, five guys. Yes, in the, the in bros this. are there, aren't they? The, 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 it's just the bros, man. The bros are there, and they are partying, but with they the, are with, nothing with the, compared the to the god that, that has is, the final mouse. That has the, the next final mouse. <laughs> and this guy is on the statue, man. Like he's 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 up there. Yes. I don't know if you ever saw Ghostbusters two. You ever I did. see that movie? Yeah, it's a you good know? movie. Vigo. Vigo, yes. That's what it reminds me. <laughs> okay, okay, I see that. And it's so, like doing like a coliseum. Like, what happened to to nature? Why is that to be a coliseum now? The coliseum, man. Yeah, exactly. It is nature. You can see a little bit of nature, but what what we're doing is we're talking about civilization. We're talking about renovation. We're talking about history moving forward. We're talking about the evolution of man. We're this, talking this, about this, 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 this a journey, it, man. a road. All roads lead to Rome. And all roads lead to the new final mouse. Basically, they're saying that either you buy this mouse or you're going to die. <laughs> okay. That's pretty much what they're saying. All right. And, um, you, and, you, and you can see from the top right, you know, there's the little sun, a little bit of sunshine shining through the, the sunshine rays, the god rays. as they The say. god rays, right, right. Shining right. down, shining down on the... The user. On the man of the, of, of the podium. The owner of the final mouse. Right. Yes. So is yeah. he on a podium because he's won he's and just he a, is he's just a chosen elevated? One, man. Or is he chosen? Yes. Does the he's mouse the choose one. you? No, yeah, you know, it's like it's like when you go on a road trip, you don't choose a road, the road chooses you. You know, you don't <laughs> you know? Right. So that's that's that. Now since since we're talking about final mouse, I I gotta like throw in there. Uh, as 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 great as that company is, they have had some controversy. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that it's not worth it. Now, why isn't it worth it? Expand on that. What do you mean? No, I think it's worth it, but people are saying it's not worth it because well, why the the um, you know the marketing team is terrible. They the support team. I meant sorry. Okay, the, yeah. The, 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 oh wait. The, the, yeah. Support team is terrible. Okay, that's the support understandable. Support team is absolutely terrible. Yes. And people waited five, six months to get their Air 58 and it never showed up. Ooh, that's rough. Yeah. I know you're not going to want to be separated by, you know, by from your money. And this, these mouses are not cheap. You know, this no. is No, I mean, when, mouse. no, when, you know, no, no, when they, when they, they're not that expensive. They're not that expensive. But, but they're when, not when you resell them, cheap, cheap. When you, when you resell them, that's when they get ridiculous. And the whole resale market is because they're limited release so people right. get their hands on them and then if you want to buy one they the prices are pumped up right yes yeah yeah i got a comment uh, i don't like swiss cheese my mice mouses yeah uh some people are not going to like the feel and the look of the that type of mouse of the of the of the god sent mouse you but do you have to what? understand That's their fault it's functionality the reason why the mouse has holes in it it makes it lighter. In fact, the we're talking it's about the air, lightest man. mouses on the market. Yes, you can call no, it. No, there air. actually is. There actually is, I believe, a lighter mouse. Oh, I'm not saying like I said the lightest of the lightest. I'm oh. not making claim that they're the. I think they at one point had the lightest mouse in the world. Isn't that accurate? Like early right. on. Okay, then they got passed up, but they're still 
a light, you know. So, um, yeah, okay. So I want to I want to talk about the competition, man. Can I show you something? Cooler Master. Yeah, we're gonna 53 get three grams. We're, 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 check this out, man. Boom. Uh huh. Glorious. Glorious. Right. Right. I I had their mouse. I didn't like it that much. Okay. Um, it was. It was I'm gonna ask know. you about it. I'm gonna ask you. It about was. It. Yeah. But I, I just want to read right now. Yeah. Check this out, man. Because this is their blog. This is what they said. Our research is done. We are now entering the gaming mouse market. No more overpriced garbage. Hang in there. They're talking. They're taking shots at Final Mouse. That's what they're doing. They took shots at Final Mouse. Yes, and they landed a few. Oh yeah. You know. Um. So, that's that's now now let me see. I don't, actually don't have that pulled up, but here. This is like their offerings, right? Model O. Yeah, they have they have multiple different styles multiple and different sizes now. This will give you an idea. And they, no, and, and they have sizes now, too. Yeah, sizes, which is great. They basically realize that there are areas of the market that can be filled out. For example, if you have a much larger hand or a much smaller hand, they can cater to you, whereas the other mouses are a one-size-fits-all solution. So they're looking to pick up that part of the market but if you look at it you you realize they're trying to put their own spin on it they're trying to say that well we have a we have a better mouse because of this and they're putting their art on it their branding which is low key you know they have a picture of the the dude and it's like glorious and the hair and all that and that's it you don't really see a lot of branding which is part of the idea it does have mouses. rgb though that was the key thing right there. Key difference. RGB. So it has the right. lighting um, aspect, whereas Final Mouse has refused to do lighting uh, thus far, right? Yes. Yeah, they have not been uh, looking to add lighting to their products. They haven't even entertained the idea. But they, they don't even they don't want that, though. They want to keep but, it simple. But if you go back to it, it's glowing. Did you notice that? Final Mouse? Yeah, yeah. Aim it's, God. It's, it's, it's glowing. Yeah, yeah. Why is it glowing? Is it because RGB? No, I think it's just the chosen no. one. You just you don't think so. You don't think so. I, I, I just I just wanted one. to throw that out there as a thought experiment. But no. Uh, so that's the competition. Uh, and now now I want to ask you cuz I'm glad you mentioned that you had this you've had a mouse from Glorious before, yeah? Yes. So um, what what were your thoughts? You said you didn't like it. The size was different. The for some reason the side buttons were really hard to hit. Okay. Like I had to adjust my whole hand to move up to the to the top one. Right. And the left mouse button squeaked mm. a lot. Right. That's and the, squeaking. You know, that's yeah, the, one the, of the, the complaints that people have. The the paracord was good. Okay. There's nothing wrong about that. DPI button. No, you know, I don't really care about that because it's, it's a button, but. Right. There's the, the the mouse skates were good, but you know I I think if they took the RG the RGB is one of the things that makes it so cool. It says this is the mo model O the light the world's lightest RGB gaming mouse because they had to put RGB because that's the reason why it's so not not the lightest right gaming mouse. And then they have the the glossy colors which add a whole a whole gram which doesn't seem like that much, but still you know they have they have to include that. That's interesting. So I it what what I heard was that it comes down to a couple things, and one of the things like that people are gonna really find annoying is if your mouse if you're squeezing your mouse and you hear or you push the buttons and you hear squeaking, it's gonna be really yeah. annoying. If plastic on plastic squeaking is one of the most annoying things, and you you can feel it too, and you have to live with that, right? Yeah. So I, I think it's really tough to make these mouses because you are the tolerances and the design it's very demanding so it's not easy to eliminate the squeaks and the other thing was the switches uh, all right. these mouses try to claim fame to their switches and their sensors for the laser for the you know optical reading of the surface and things like that 
So that is something that if you're shopping for a mouse, doesn't you know people consider um, the quality and then like what what sensor is it? That's kind of like what kind of engine is in the car, right? Right. Like if you you got a you got a powerful engine, if you got a really good sensor, then it's going to perform better. So yes, and there's other stuff. There's pulling. You want it to pull fast and things like that. But anyway, just to give people an idea who are not necessarily the mouse guy or my mouse gal. So I want to just pop over to the final competition. Boom. Take a look at that. Oh, G-Wolves. The... Oh, yeah. They, they've been coming out with some some very competitive. I've seen, you know, I've seen uh, another one. Let me pull it up while you're there. Hold on. Yeah, here it is. Um, what is this? I'm not gonna lie. I was actually thinking about getting one of the mouses that he. Um. Let's see. What is it? Um. Let me. Pull up this. Give me a moment. Sure. Pull it up. Um, while you do that, G Wolves claims they use uh, Omron micro switches, um, resolution. Well, let's see, Teflon feet. Let's see. Extra grips. I'm not sure what they're alluding to on the extra grips. Dust proof. So they say two TTC dust proof golden micro switches. Which I guess is uh, an advanced switch. Here we are. Yeah. Okay, this is it. Um. Yeah, this is it. What do you got? Uh, you know, I was actually looking into one of these. I was thinking about it. I wasn't gonna tell anyone, but I'm actually thinking about it. Uh, I'll, I'll email it to you. Okay, go ahead. There you go. Uh, oh, yeah. I was just there. Going back to it. Yeah, I see it. Okay. I got it pulled up here. Let me see. So tell me about what you sent me here. I see. I, I don't know much about it. I just thought that it looked, it looked like it might have been a, uh, a, a nice shaping mouse okay you want me to put it up on screen sure sure okay hang on a second I like one it. of the one of the most important things that you want to have when you have a good mouse is a good mouse bungee you know you ever use one of those y y yes I'm familiar with them uh, yes I like that yes so to uh, so you got want to have your your uh, your mouse uh, your mouse wire or mouse cord held right so it doesn't yeah and final mouse has some you know not that great cords when it on the older version that's why i have to buy a paracord that's why i bought the paracord so would you say they've been refining their product yeah it's yeah. a lot better yeah okay so i think i got it pulled up here kind of i kind of have it pulled up is it what's the difference okay there it is got it Pop that on. What? Um. Now, doesn't want to display it on screen. It's working on on the preview. And the nice thing about this mouse is that it has ultralight construction and it has a right hand design, which is not normally what I look for, but you know, sometimes you want that. Uh huh. This is strange. It doesn't want to display on screen, so there you go. I don't know, that's, that's something that's been happening. Oh, wait. Oh, I was hiding it. I, I thought I clicked on that for sure. 
But here we are, extra fi M4 RGB. There it is. We're looking at it right now. Uh, comes in white, what, pink, pink and black, two tone, blue and black, Miami and blue. white and gray, something like that. Yeah, I, I actually like that gray. It looks pretty nice with the with the red small touches. Here's the uh, white 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 is sold out, but everything else okay. is in stock. It's kind of interesting. Okay, they have a lot of stuff, so we'll go through this real quick. So what's what are they saying? It's a Pixar 3389 sensor, um, ultra light, and it has a extra fi easy cord on it. Okay, yes. cord looks nice. Here's the first thing I noticed. This is a 3D CGI mouse. This is not a real mouse right here. It's not. In yes. other words, it's not a real picture, but looks nice. All right, that's the first thing I noticed. Ergonomic, top grade. The perfect mouse? Question mark. Um, oh. I like the RGB in and the it scroll says wheel. dust and splash resistant. Dust and splash resistant. So what they'll actually do is they'll put like a silicone or some kind of a protectant inside, so that if water does leak through the holes, uh, it keeps your electronics from being. And it has armor on switches too. Okay. Okay. So. So they gave this thing to some esports players, and there, there it is. You can see the white one. There it is, in real life, yeah. in the wild. Interesting. It's nice. Pink one looks pretty nice too. Picture of a feather. Stand out, in game and in. That has some pretty, pretty, intense shape to it. Yeah. So is is it kind of like a wide base? It's uh, ergonomic to your right hand. It flares out a lot, and so yeah, we're talking about it's not, it's it's only for the right hand. You can't use this well with your left hand, right? Yeah. So that's what they. You're, you're, it, that's, it's on. it's not meant for your left hand at all. It's not meant for your left hand at all. I I agree with that. So that is one of the things, but but for the right hand, it could be it might be better. It might be better. Um, yeah, that's what it's meant I, for. I like the details. I could see that they put the little colored, you know, where the, the cable goes into. Um, I'm not sure about that logo or whatever is shining through the bottom of the mouse. Yeah. I'm not sure about that. I get a PlayStation vibe with those colors coming Yeah, it's a, growing up with Star Wars, that's where it says right there below it. Okay. Growing up. It was all about Star Wars, Nintendo. That's where it all started. Commodore 64. The retro edition has a, is a trip down memory lane and a tribute to the early years of gaming. That's 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 pretty cool. Oh, so they 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 actually they actually connected. They captured it pretty well. Okay, because I'm this is okay. Wow. And they they're not as expensive as Final Mouse. Okay, okay. So they are really trying to undercut the competition. All right. Look at this. I like this. Now this is great. They're actually telling you the proper measurements. You don't have to go ending. hunting around for this information. Unlike the boutique people, who just are lacking information, and you know, uh, Glorious did a little bit of it, but this is pretty well thought out. These are mouse people here that we're dealing with. The state of the art right. sensor. There it is. High polling rate, top grade performance, grip and feel. I like the bottom. Yeah, yeah. It feels I like it's too. purposefully designed. Yeah. PTFE skates. Teflon is old school. It's outdated. It's you gotta go to like PTFE or some modern equivalent. So this is great. What well, I like the skates because they're they're very big. They're oversized. So, I don't, if if you if you've been around, dust collects on them. Um, yeah, my my mouse pad collects. Yeah. A shit ton of dust. Yeah. So that, that's gonna combat that. And keep you keep you sliding and gaming. And easier right. to clean. Okay. Sixty nine grams. What are your thoughts on the weight? That's pretty respectable, wouldn't you think? It's it's in it's in the pocket. I mean, you could tell they went for under seventy. Right, I mean, right. Yeah, that, like, that, that's the main goal. Because after seventy five, then it's like, uh, you're in a different league, aren't you? Yeah.
They say no compromises. And they're achieving this with all the features and RGB. Right. So they're saying it's a strong construction, it's a durable construction, Omron switches will give you 20 million pro player optimized clicks, and one of the things that drives people crazy with mouses is when the, the buttons will drift or move too far off from left or right. Yes. When they're all supposed to click up and down. They're not supposed to be move, moving around like the ocean, like a boat on the ocean. Uh, my buddy says uh, Omron switches are used in arcade controls. Yeah, they're a quality uh, component, huh? Okay. Um, customized RGB, we expect it. Ultra light is even lighter with the easy cord. What are your thoughts uh, here? I mean, they don't give too much information. They say it's lighter, it's fl more flexible. Here's what I'm reading into this. I'm looking at the picture and I'm noticing it's not bunching up. You see that, Heyday? Yes, I do. So to me, it's telling me it's a quality product that stays light, but it doesn't bunch up. And it comes in great colors because look at that blue. Look at that pink. Yeah, the, the blue is very, it's very. The blue is electro light, man. It's, you know, they, the, you know, you know what the title is, right? What's the title? Miami Blue. Miami Blue. Love it. And the pink is pretty electric, too. It, it, it does zap a and, little bit. And, you know, what's weird is that the very top one. It's like, sorry, no, not the very top. Um, uh, the gray one sticks yeah. out for some reason. It looks good presentation, nice tone, not too light, not too, not too dark. And the RGB is pretty intense on it too, if you've seen it. It, it almost starts to get into the metallic, which right. is good. Which is good, because you want you don't want it to be, you don't want it to look like cheesy, like chrome. Right. But you want a little shine would would do you fine. Wouldn't hurt. That's right. Okay, so ARM32 microcontroller. So it's basically a computer system in your mouse. <laughs> yes. The new reality. We have more power that they went to the moon with in your mouse. Seriously. Fast swipes require high-speed processing. An ARM microcontroller for uncompromised speed and stability. Da da da. Okay, dust is splash resistant because land mishaps at night happen. That's their marketing. Very well done. Very well said. Everybody's saying, I'm completely blown away. Winning ingredients. Nice branding. Nice marketing. It's all here. UV coated. Yep. Okay, excuse me, but is there a price tag on this thing? Yes. Uh, go to the top. $59 At, yes, RRP. Very, very respectable. Recommended retail price of $59. I would say they are bringing a lot of mouse for the money. Dude, if, honestly, dude, if they weren't making it ergonomic, that'd be my main mouse. I don't know why. I, I'm not a big fan of the ergonomic. I can understand. I can understand how good, you know, but it's just that looks like it's a very respectable mouse but it looks like if they made another version that wasn't ergonomic but had the exact same features i'd be all over so you're saying the ergonomic aspect you'd be all over it if what is it you'd be all over if it, it? if it wasn't right-handed if, if it was it a wasn't neutral right mouse you want to be have the ability to have it neutral be ambidextrous go between left and right hand or maybe just the shape so what yeah can, can you tell me like why why does that throw why does that why does that put you like, off? like i don't i don't um, mind the the right but if you look at it from the top view it just doesn't look right okay so you're talking about symmetry yeah i you're like how about art air yeah you're talking about air air in your See, hand okay okay, okay stop, right, stop where you are the very on the top right right there see that how like the the left side just curves in so much yes and how the top right looks a little bit bigger than what it should be right i'm not a big fan of that okay okay but i do like how they you know you don't have to paracord it because i i ordered a paracord for my final mouse yesterday right 
This right here is a, is a strike at the competition. Not very this, known yet. This color. I've been, you know. Yeah. I like the blue, man. The blue is... You like the blue? The blue sticks out. If you just click add to cart, it shows whatever's in there. Yeah, I'm just looking at it. I'm just taking it all The pink all is in. nice as well, you know? It's well done. But what really catches me is the gray one with the little red. The gray one with the little red is one of the top picks. I th I'd say it's blue, gray, to pink. Okay, well said. So um, I don't want to hang on that too long. That's, that's great that you brought that up because that brought in a great new product. Uh, probably not a lot of people are familiar with that. Even if you're into mouses, you probably know about the other stuff. Um, There's another one out there. Yeah. That's a good competition. Who else is out there? That you, you, you can go into a store and buy. What's the deal with them? Uh, what are they? Cooler Master. What are they about? Oh, Cooler Master. Yeah. What's their What's their line? Uh, just check. Just look up Cooler Master Ultralight Gaming Mouse. Ultralight. Yeah. Let me pop on there. So Cooler Master has their Ultralight series. Yeah, I've seen this. I've seen this. Uh, here's what they said, man. I think this is, has a problem of plastic uh, squeaking. That's the problem with this mouse. But you can get an Ultralight mouse for $45 price point. And those are, those are a Best Buy. With PTFE. 16,000 DPI. Optical gaming grade optical sensor. Weave, uh, it's got a weave. It's got the cable with the uh, you know woven cable, uh, and it has the lightweight housing. So it has a lot of good stuff, and the looks are looks are nice. You know, I mean, it looks it looks nice. It doesn't doesn't look like amazing, but um, I I think it. I think the cord needs to be worked on. Yeah, the cord is is real rough. You know, it's it, it looks like it'd be really rough to the hand, and it looks it's, like it, it, it looks hand it'd get woven. caught on stuff. It looks like it'd get caught on stuff. The material on the mouse, I know I'm not showing it on the screen, but you can you can look this up. It's uh, it looks like that cheap plastic, man. That is, it's just cheaper to make and less finished. It just looks less finished. It doesn't look like it has a nice finish on it. And then the it logo, looks rushed, like like they didn't really take time. They tried to buy into this whole thing by like not putting Cooler Master in it. They put like the outline of the Cooler Master logo. It does look rushed, but then again, it looks like it's been constrained to that $45 price point. It looks like it's worth $45. It looks like it's worth about $45. If I'm being, now that I'm looking at it more, you're getting what you're paying for. So it's not a lot of value, but it is, Cheaper. If your budget Razor came is out there, with a, Razor came out with a nice mouse that wasn't ultra light, but they came out with a pretty intense, you know, competitor. Um, okay. I don't know if you've heard about it, but the what's the the, uh, the the wireless Viper? I think I heard about it. Yes. So let me see. This this is that one of their top of the line models. Yeah, now it is. It's one of their, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've, I've heard about this and I've looked into this. So now I'm gonna have an opportunity to talk about my mouse and what I'm using. Um, I'm actually using the. Uh, I, I was gonna actually show it <laughs> because I have their page pulled up. Let me just show it. Okay, so this is the Basilisk X Hyperspeed from Razer. This is the okay. wireless mouse that I have. It's a wireless mouse, which is controversial because a lot of gamers think you got to go wired or nothing. And I was that guy because that was the truth in the past. But realize it's 2020. We're in the future. They actually made a gaming mouse that works as good or they're even touting through the technology that a wireless mouse can have a faster response than a wired mouse. Which Let that seem... bounce around in your brain. Right. Okay? Oh, it's bouncing. So, 
this is what I'm using right now. I came from the Logitech mouse. They had the Logitech that uh, looks has. They basically took the shape of the Logitech. In fact, shit, I don't want to pull it up right now, but and the the price point here is fifty nine ninety nine. So we're talking about the same kind of mouse, but um, let's just let's 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 go around in here uh, and take a look. It has the Bluetooth technology if you want to do that for compatibility, but it has a two point four gigahertz gaming wireless signal, so it's fast. It says here twenty five percent faster than other other wireless technology, low which click is a, latency, which is, which is high speed in, mou in mouse terms twenty five percent is like a whole new day. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 gonna be a significant difference. That's a pretty Thank bold you. claim. Thank you for saying that. Um, seamless switching, all that good stuff as we would expect. This is a quality mouse. Um, then they they get into the optical sensor, sixteen thousand DPI. Track high tracking speed up to forty, you know, um, the the uh, G's of acceleration. Um, they claim it's an advanced optical sensor, five G, five G advanced. That's their thing. Ninety nine point four percent tracking accuracy, which is, I'm surprised it's not higher than that. But it's 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 very good, it's very good. Um, ultra long battery life so this was the cell wireless although the battery technology hasn't really gotten there they've obviously got the efficiency high because it's up to 450 hours um, in, in Bluetooth mode but up to 285 hours in hyperspeed 2.4 gigahertz uh, yes. I, I, I I'm thinking back right now I've never replace the battery I didn't even think about it I've been using it since I bought this mouse and I just use it every day and I never think about the battery so yeah <laughs> this thing is this thing kicks ass in terms of battery it just kind of blew me away when I looked at my mouse right now <laughs> some of these mouses have two-day battery lives now you know that's horrible this thing has lasted for for what has it been I don't know, weeks months Okay. Yeah. Um, so they have their mouse switches. They have their in-house keyboard switches, and they have their in-house mouse switches. The switches, as the word described, is that they are really nice and solid. They're not yes. as crisp as an ultra high quality switch, but they're good. They're very good. Six yes. programmable buttons. You have the you know the the presets and the the program the custom dpi settings that you can put yes. and that's all that they say what this yeah. mouse doesn't have is rgb component uh-huh uh which i would like i would like to have an rgb component someone um, in my chat says oh hi mark if you're talking about me my name is not mark <laughs> but i'm good <laughs> <laughs> oh hi mark is a reference to uh uh what they call the worst movie ever made. Oh. I understand. That is, uh, the Room. That's the oh. name of the movie. It's an absolute piece of shit. <laughs> so, uh, but I say that with love. So anyway, here's the thing about this mouse. It's medium to heavy weight. It's actually quite heavy. It, that's you a, notice that's a, that's a my question was. they didn't even a, they didn't ask they didn't even tell you how heavy it is did they yeah i was gonna ask what's the weight yeah i so want to know inquiring what minds want to know um let me see if i can get you that information <clears throat> um Hopefully my Google Foo is up to speed. You already forgot about me? No, I didn't. I no, I did not forget about you. Okay. How are you doing today? So, it's eighty-three grams. What? That's pretty intense, dude. This is an intense mouse. You can't be a bitch to use it, is what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah. This this mouse is not for the for the average user. I, it'd be hard for the average user. They'd have to get used to it. Right. 
um, it's it's up there. It's up there. So it's but but for me, I'm I'm this feels natural to me. I've, yeah, because you know that that this. that's what normal mouses are now, or not normal. That's that's what they were. That's what they were exactly. And um, I'm also not doing that sweeping type of motion. motion. Yeah, I'm using I'm using the wrist action as you would probably think about. Um, it has served me well. Okay. I think that. It's hard to say if it's limiting how good of a player I am, but yeah. I definitely think I'm too old to learn something new, and I, it, it, you know, it feels natural to me, and I can't, I can't go away from that. So I don't see myself becoming one of those people who s swings their arms around. But yeah. I definitely could see a lighter mouse, though. That I could use a lighter mouse. And the whole theory yeah. about that is you can move, you know, your mouse quickly and throw the weight around much easier with a lighter weight yes. so yeah yeah you know that's that's what you want you know whatever's oh well, someone in my chat says my mouse broke today that is unfortunate what type sorry of mouse hear, we're sorry to hear that rest in peace we're sorry for your loss <laughs> uh, you brought up the uh the Razer Viper Ultimate Hyperspeed. Yeah. Like the, the wireless mouse, right? Yes. That is the lightest. What do they claim? 74 grams because it's wireless, obviously. You can be the lightest when you're wireless and still be heavier than a wired mouse, right? Right. But they call it the Ultimate. Of it's course. a 20K DPI optical sensor. It has that's eight programmable high. buttons instead of six. 70 hour battery life, fine. That's a long, 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 oh, that's a lot of battery life. Plenty, and that's enough. But it is much reduced. And then you have, um, what else? What else you got? The design yeah. is is custom. Like, I don't think you see this, this design on other mouses. Right. Um, I, if don't. I'm not mistaken, you have like rubber grips on it. Yeah, and uh, Random Frank P did a video where he put uh, vi uh, lizard skins on it. I don't know if you've seen that. No, I didn't see that video yet. That sounds uh, like a good one. Yeah. So they Definitely still use... Definitely probably has a, a good amount of views. They still use the Razer optical mouse switches. Um, yes. This does have the RGB. Yep. And it, it feels like the texture for them is important. They seem to focus on the texture of the, 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 the you know, the surface, the materials. Um, their branding is important to them. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I like my mouse because it's not as branded. It has actually like a black, blacked out logo or a stealth logo. So I, I mm -hmm. don't necessarily... That... That green razor thing was was nice. That was fun, you know, what, many, many years ago. But now it's like I'm over that, you know. It's green is green can't be – green is not a very intense color anymore. Yeah. Like if you want to have green, you have to match your whole setup. Exactly. Thank you for saying that, yes. And I'm not so such a fan of the spiky scroll wheel. Yeah. Let me tell you something, man. And here's something that I, is missing on this mouse for Razer. This scroll wheel is, it's rubberized, so it is a little nicer than just straight up plastic. But Logitech had a solid metal scroll wheel. Yeah. And they had the ability for you to push a button where you can free spin it or push a button and it would click, you know, it would like soft click around. That was the best system. Love that. But sadly, Logitech was left behind. Razer has done better than them. This mouse, I'm I'm not looking back at Logitech right now. Logitech got stuck in the past, partly because they were just catering to the, you know, people like Shroud, you know, who want their old mouses and they're not pushing the things forward, right? Yeah. 
So there isn't that advancement. So what did Razer do? They came in, they swooped in, and they brought they dropped a better product than Logitech. Oh, too bad Someone Logitech. says Logitech is actually getting better. They are getting better. And I've been a Logitech fan since way back. And they've always been delivering quality, thought filled, like like good designs and stuff consistently. And they're pushing the tech forward all, all the time. In terms of the optical sensor, things like that. The technology, yeah. you know, they've been moving forward. But in terms of the design and in recent times, they fell by the wayside for a while now. And I do see them making a comeback. So I'm still open to Logitech as a brand. Yeah. But uh, I got to say that right now, Razer's sitting on my desk, and I'm loving every second of it. The buttons, man. The buttons. Yeah. They're so nice. And I'm talking about, like, the side buttons, you know, the thumb buttons. Yeah. Like, I, I know it, I someone says, by the way, I was here yesterday, you dumb airhead. I know you were here yesterday. <laughs> Toxic. Like, can I just say, like, what nice, th how nice this is? Like, the DPI setting button is, like a, like, a really light click, like a really soft, light tech, high tech kind of click. And then when I click it, like, the DPI settings pops up on my screen instantly. That's the Razer yeah. software. You know, tells me 1800 DPI, 3600 DPI, 7200 DPI, and I can customize all those settings. But I can go yes. through them all. And I'm yes. like, dude, that's nice, you know. Um, I just, I'm liking that particular effect. Logitech, the way they did theirs, they had a, um, lights on the mouse, and I uh -huh. like that too because I didn't have to have my 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 monitor on or be on a certain thing to see that. So I could actually switch it and look at the mouse. So I think they should have. You should. I mean, I don't know, man. That's a that's a that's a tough one. I definitely think I'm I'm I don't know. I'm just liking the way it is right now. But yeah, and then the rubberized grips. We didn't even talk about the rubberized grips. The rubberized, you know, this feels like so well made. Like it's so purpose made. Yeah. Like when when you touch it, it doesn't feel squishy. It feels firm. It's not right. going anywhere. The texture yes. is like a custom texture, like a crosshatch. You yeah. know, it's not like bumps or lines or something like that. It's not a grid. It's like like a knurling. They have internal memory to use the light already set. Okay. Mm -hmm. So anyway. Yeah, so that's that's all of that, man. I think we've pretty much said what we had to say. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> you know, but there's there's still going to be light there's going to be someone that's going to come out with a new lightweight mouse that's going to be death defying, you know? Yes. That's gonna be creating air. You're you're exactly right, man. The war battlefront in the lightweight mouse world is not over. There are gonna be more stars and heroes that are gonna come forward. Yeah. That's I true. mean what the hell is Final Mouse releasing next? Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think We'll How's your day going? It's good, bro. It's good. We might actually know more at that point. Right. In terms of are they advancing things? Are they putting out a product that their competition hasn't thought of as different? Or are they just – maybe it's just refinement. Maybe it's getting better. Maybe it just gets a little lighter. I don't know. Right. I don't know what the deal is. Are they going wireless? Who knows? What do you think about wireless, well, by the way, so we can just finish up? I haven't – I haven't – I haven't tried wireless. That's why I have a mouse bungee. The bungee saves the day. Yeah. For sure. Don't Having a bungee is like is is nice. Don't you think that's just like kind of trying to solve a problem that's inherent with the mouse cord? Yeah. But it's 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 it helps. You're yeah. you're you're making progress. I don't think they're going to be able to get the mouse weight down with a wireless version so right. i don't believe it's going to be wireless because of the li you just have you're talking about ultra lightweight when you're chasing those grams or part of a gram non-essentials need to be cut out 
Right. And the technology that maybe is futuristic is if the energy gets transferred through the desk or your mouse pad into the mouse, or maybe it charges the mouse by you yeah. moving it. I know that one people, like that. what they're doing is they're like, they're putting like a spot on their desk where they can wirelessly charge their mouse like as they're playing. It's like crazy. Yeah. I'm not really into that or anything, but um, I'm just trying to think, how can you make it lightweight and wireless, which would be the perfect mix? I'm sure people are going to come up with solutions. Companies are going to come up with solutions for that. Right. So. They're they're gonna they're gonna cover that. Well, 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 well. Thank you for being my guest today. Thank you for the interesting discussion on mouse, mouses. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. Um, A lot of fun. I'm glad we had an opportunity to chat on the podcast. We will be back with more topics. We have more yes. people that will be joining us on the podcast. We mentioned some possible guests, and yeah, uh, I, I have a few friends that wouldn't mind being on it. Yeah, stuff happening behind the scenes. You know, we've we've always been trying to improve our setups, and um, we've we, made a lot of progress in just three days. Yeah, we just had to power through some stuff, but uh, yeah. now I feel like we're in a much better place, and. Uh, don't forget that this podcast functions um, on on donations. I mean, it's the only way that we can go. We we don't have any sponsors, and right Yet. now we're counting on the community. Yeah, but we don't we don't um. How would you say it? We're not necessarily counting on a company to come in and sponsor us. We'd love that to happen, but we more so count. We're like public access. We need the donations from the from the public in our community to keep us going because we yes. we're always going to need stuff we're always going to need hardware we're always going to need uh you know stuff to you know for for the marketing side whatever it may be for you know web service expense whatever it is we're always going to need donations to power and and uh to keep us going um yeah and it also motivates us to make us know that we're doing better yeah, the, the 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 donations will motivate us and the interactivity. So if you can't donate, just engage. Like our video, don't like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you follow us on Twitch. Uh, I'm twitch.tv slash alby13. That's the primary place where this podcast will go live. Uh, my guest here, uh, twi twitch.tv slash notheyday. Uh, so I'd like you to follow him if you want to check out his Fortnite gaming expertise put on display. He's 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 an amazing player, uh, and he's got the equipment that helps him to be amazing. And uh, yeah, anything else you want to say? No, man, I'm I'm good, man. I'm, I'm I I can't believe it's already six p.m. <laughs> six p.m. and we're out of here. Everybody have a good evening. Yeah, we'll be back with another yeah. show. Peace.